Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 19 and let's play Illusion of Gaia, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm still in the Mountain Temple and the reason I'm staying as Will for now is that there are some enemies that I skipped when I went over this way. What I was supposed to do is just keep sticking around the right area and eventually find the rest of the enemies and then I can turn to Freedom and continue on. Might as well get rid of some enemies on the way. Well, the ones I can hurt. Like this skull, for instance. That has a pretty nasty fracture like the rest of them. Zangief power! Right now I got more flute players to deal with. Sadly, even if you do kill them, they still attack you with those flames. Unless you put yourself in the right position. Then you'll have it a little bit easier. What other enemies did I miss in this area? Probably that spider. Can I get it? No, I don't think I can. I'll have to leave it alone. No, let's just send me back where I started. Just need to remember where it is I ended up. Oh, this would be a good spot. Get a skull killed. Now, all I have to do is just go through the ramp. Can I take this one? Well, yes I can, but I'm all the way back there. Either way, I'm gonna get to my destination. There we go. Now I can transform into Freedon. Plus a free bit of healing ain't so bad either. Yeah, at least it was a small bit of backtracking I had to do. Yeah, save again. Now let's continue on. Through this twisted temple. Man, there's a lot of mushrooms. That would definitely make Mario happy. Okay, remember what Gem said. After 30 gems, you can charge up your Dark Friar. What it means is whenever you release it, hit A. And look at all those fireballs. They do a ton of damage. You can probably kill, like, lots and lots of enemies this way. Especially the ones that are out of reach. Defense up. Let me go this way first. I see a spider. I might as well grab this, even though it's not going to matter. Practically at max amount, anyway. Damn it. I'll go this way first. 20 enemies? Ooh, gonna be here a while. That's what I love about the charge up Dark Friar. It makes fighting a lot easier considering these fireballs are very devastating in power. To think I've never once used a life. Look at that! Triple kill! That spider just did nothing. How pathetic. Okay, now I can no longer get any more dark points until I lose a life. At this rate, I can practically just ignore them. But I usually have a habit of not doing that. I don't know why. I guess if you're so used to picking them up, you just will. Better if I go down first? Maybe I should get rid of the spider while I'm at it. Nope, no reason to go this way. Two more enemies and it's just the spiders. Power up! Let's take a look at my stats. Okay, I got 29 HP. 
18 strength, 18 defense. That's not bad. But I'm guessing that's just in freedom form. I don't know if it's the exact same as Will. If it is, that's great, but I doubt it. Yay, Red Jewel! Jeez, my inventory is almost full. I better get rid of some of this stuff. Pretty soon I'll be forced to give up an herb. I don't even know why I'm holding on to the will or Lance's letter. I'm gonna do it just in case, you know, in the event I might still need it. I doubt it, but I'll take it anyway. And if I'm full, then I can just drop it. I think I can drop it, can I? Yeah, you can remove stuff. Alright, let's head back. We... That was not dangerous in the slightest. Oh, I see a skull. I see another one! You gonna turn around and come back on screen? Can you do that for me? Thank you. Did you turn around and go back off screen? Kill, oh my god. That was just a dead end. No reason to go in that direction. Wait, I saw a skull and I just flew back to the left. The enemies here are not hard, they're just annoying to track. I mean, you're on this very narrow vine area, and the enemies can fly anywhere they want. Well, except for the spiders, they have some limits. Wait, is that the only area I can go? Maybe there are more areas to check out, and I don't think so. Guess I'll just move on. This place can be very, very confusing. 26 enemies! And there's a chest, too. Let's get rid of these spiders. And the skull! Triple kill, Metal Gear. Yeah, another triple kill. I love this thing. I feel like abusing it every chance I could. Yeah, it's just so awesome. Making life a lot easier with enemies like these. Not a chance. I feel sorry for the people that don't get the 30 jewels and thus have to wait in that shop in Euro to get this. I mean, you had to go through that shop anyway to get the extra HP, if you cared to get it. Oh, what's this? Oh, passageway. Or shortcut. It's technically taking me back where I started. Man, I don't even feel like using my sword anymore and then I got the Dark Fryer boost. Yeah, now I get more HP. Everything's coming up, Millhouse! I mean, Bonga. It's the Mushroom Drops. Uh huh. What am I gonna do with Mushroom Drops again? Grows plants from ends of stalks. Interesting. I did recall seeing one area that was fragmented. Maybe I can use these drops to put them back together. So, why don't we head over this way and use the mushroom drops. He tries using the water from the mushroom. He pours the mushroom water on the stems. Well, what do you know? It takes us to a new area. That's what you need the mushroom drops for. 24 enemies! That's gonna be a lot of triple kills. Or single kills, whichever you prefer. Oh, flute player. And you did. Guess I got some HP I did not need. It's making me feel a little lazy now. I 
I'd rather just go up and attack them. I'm just using the Dark Friar all the time. But it's there to be used and abused, so why not go for it? Just like women. Ah, just kidding. You don't use or abuse women. Unless they ask for it. <coughs> Moving on! Seriously, I, I'm not a guy that uses women. I just don't. They make you pay for it. Okay, no reason to go that way other than to kill the spiders, which I just did. You suck at the flute! I play better. At least my music doesn't kill people. Or at least try to. I swear, I bet you that unlike Flute Player over here, I will not play a song that hurts people. You wanna bet on that? Yeah, challenge accepted. Oh, that was the last enemy in that area. Let me guess, more mushroom drops? Yeah, it is. Now I can head to another area. In the previous one, I did see some stems that were split apart. There's nothing else to find here. I'll just have to head back. Let's see, I was up here. That much I remember. All the way up here. Thank you! Actually, I should be thanking myself, because I'm the one that poured it. Wait, do I need more mushroom drops? In this same area? I guess so. I'll just look around. There's seven more enemies all the way over there. So I am gonna need more mushroom drops. Thirty-nine! Screw you! Was that a quadruple kill? Yes, it was. Another quadruple kill! I love this thing so much. I want to marry it. What's this? Another dark space. Wait, is this an ability? It is. Or a barrier can now be used. The Aura Barrier is a dark power that can only be used by the Dark Knight, Freedon. Use the power of the Aura to put a barrier around you. Use the attack button and L and R buttons for power. Okay, so in other words, I just do the same thing with Psycho Spin. Okay, well, it's somewhat interesting. Enemies of the Mountain Temple are strong. If you use this power, your battles will be easier. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet you I won't even need this thing. It's just nice to have for completion and nothing more. Sorry, Gaia. That's just how it is. Well, you got this bad boy. Do you really need anything else? Especially since it has this much overkill potential. This is nuts! Just imagine if I had this much sooner, the game would be broken. It's just too bad I can't play as this guy all the time. I mean, Will does not have this ability. He doesn't have an overkill attack. Unless you consider the dash and the slider. They're very close range. Slider is pretty good for invincibility. At least he has that going for him. Uh, where are those mushroom drops? Not up here, of course. There's ten more enemies down there. 
I don't see the chest in the immediate vicinity. Triple kill! Wait. Wait. Huh. So this is where you get them. It's the mushroom drops. That's the third batch I found. But sadly, there are still more enemies to kill. And I have to go this way. And that just nullified my charge. I'm not impressed. Whoa. Another quadruple kill. more enemy. It's all the way over there. What if it comes back? No way, it was just a spider. I thought it was a skull. Okay, this place can be confusing, but it's also a lot of fun. Considering what I've been doing to these enemies, nuking them to shreds. Oh, I have to go over here. Fair enough. I still think the mushroom sprite in my inventory looks a little wrong, considering the color of the liquid on the tip. Of the mushroom, I mean. That could be mistaken for something else entirely. But I won't get into any details if you're not sure what it is. Some things are better off, better off not explained in any way whatsoever. Okay, only eight enemies, so this is gonna be a small room. So, Gaia, what did I need that aura barrier for? That aura barrier? Seriously? Just kill like three enemies right there. And look at that. Strength up. This was a joke. And there's the chest. There were no enemies. You found the teapot. Yay. That's practically what I came here for in the first place. So, that leaves this temple completed. As I think it is, yep, it is. I'm gonna stop the video right here, and in the next part, I'm gonna meet you on the way back to Euro. I mean, all I have to do is backtrack to the exit here. Goodbye, everybody.